Okay, this is uh, the June 2012 Biology 1 Foundation paper, question 3. We're looking at about green plants are found at the start of all food chains, so we're probably looking at food chains. We look here, we've got one there, maybe there'll be biomass and pyramids of biomass coming into it. Start off easy, complete the sentences. The source of energy for green plants is radiation from the, well, almost every single organism on Earth gets its energy ultimately from the same place, which is the sun. Uh, green plants absorb some of the light energy that reaches them for a process called, now if, you really need to memorise that one, that one is photosynthesis. Um, you, you can get the mark without spelling it perfectly, but if you muddle it up with the other one, the phototropism, you don't get the mark. Phototropism means growing towards the light, it doesn't mean photosynthesis. Next one, draw a ring around the correct answer to complete each sentence. This process transfers light energy into electrical energy, well no, plants don't make electricity. Sound energy, plants don't make sound. Chemical energy, yes, plants make um, glucose which has got energy in it and that is a chemical, so that's the right one. Now, you may, in, you may be asked to, to, to look at the word equation for photosynthesis to complete it. If you are, it's this. Carbon dioxide, which comes from the air, plus water, which plants get from their roots, goes to, turns into glucose and oxygen. And to get that to happen, you need sunlight. That's where the energy comes from. Because these are quite low in energy, and this is high in energy. And the oxygen is released into the atmosphere. That's photosynthesis. You can also have respiration, which is the reverse effect, which is where... An animal or a plant uses oxygen and glucose and makes carbon dioxide and water and releases energy. And that takes oxygen from there and gives off carbon dioxide. This is the process we're thinking of now. This is the one that only plants do. Animals don't do it. Okay, so here the process uses the gas. Well, that's not a gas really, although you can get it as uh, steam. These two are gases and both of them are involved in the process. So which is the one that's used? It's the carbon dioxide. One mark for that one then. The process produces carbon containing compounds called, well that's the carbon containing compound that's produced. It's not a salt, it's not a mineral. Glucose is a carbohydrate. Um, plants will also take the glucose and string it along in a big long string and store it as starch. But that's still a carbohydrate. And the name comes from the chemicals that go in. Carbon dioxide and the sort of old fashioned word for water is hydro, so carbohydrate. On to part C. The amount of living material, that's the biomass, that's in kilograms at each stage in a food chain, is less than at the previous stage. The diagram shows a food chain. So what that's saying is that if you look at a food chain, the, the mass in an oak tree is more than the mass in, a in the whole caterpillars that eat it, is more than the mass of the blue tits that prey on the caterpillars, is more than the mass of the hawks. And just so we're sure, what these arrows mean is, is eaten by, or transfers energy to, there's an energy transfer from caterpillars to blue tits because the caterpillars are eaten by the blue tits and the blue tits are eaten by the hawks. Give two ways in, in which biomass is lost. So we've got four possibilities. Do they cause the biomass to be lost? Does the caterpillar give off carbon dioxide and lose mass? Yes, although carbon dioxide is a gas, it will be given off through respiration. Let me just remind you about that. There's the photosynthesis equation. Here's the respiration equation. If, the, if there is glucose in the caterpillar, the caterpillar will combine that with oxygen from the air and it will turn it into carbon dioxide and water and energy is given off. And that carbon dioxide is breathed out. That's the respiration process. So, and the glucose will be turned and will be lost, the mass of the glucose will be lost in the carbon dioxide. So yeah, that will work. Um, <clears throat> actually, not a good idea to tick that one. Put a little tick by the side first. As food eaten by the hawk, well, if the hawk eats blue tits for food, the mass isn't lost. If it eats all the blue tits, it doesn't lose the mass. So, so that's not one that I choose. As oxygen from the oak tree, well, the oak tree will give out oxygen because it uses this process of respiration. But if it gives off oxygen, 
it's actually not losing a lot because it's taken in carbon dioxide and water as, as a certain weight and it's giving out a little bit of it but it's keeping it so actually will gain um, in mass so that's not right and finally it's faeces that's dropping from the blue tip if the blue tip eats caterpillars it will absorb everything that it eats but what it can't absorb it will pull out so we've got droppings there so it will lose biomass there now look I've got two ticks so everything's easy I can just transfer the ticks into the final version and then scrub this out so the marker doesn't know what I was doing if you've got three ticks you can't get two marks from ticking three things because if I ticked say that one that one and that one I'd get these two marks and that one would take one away so I'd only get one if you tick all four you'll score zero so if you think there are three correct ones you're going to have to make a guess as to which two you think are the actual right two and questions like this so it's very important that you follow the instructions you're given to only tick two boxes if you've ticked one box it's worth having a guess for your second one because you can't lose a mark by getting your second one wrong only by getting your third one in.